Let's say we're asked to simplify this expression and we're given instructions to write our answer with only positive exponents. Taking a look at this, we see that we can start with a couple of different ways. We can use the product rule or we can use the quotient rule or we can rearrange the problem. I'm going to take the latter, which seems to be the safest of the choices. We're going to rearrange the problem so that the like terms are next to each other and then condense them first. So the 3 and the 10 can be grouped together at the beginning. The a to the 3rd and a to the 4th can be written next to each other in the middle. And then finally, the last block of space can be given to b times b cubed. That gives us this. At this stage, we can simplify 3 times 10 into the 30. Here, we notice that the bases are same and we're multiplying. So we can add the exponents by the product rule. So a to the 3rd times a to the 4th will be a to the 3 plus 4, which is 7. Similarly, the product rule here gives us b to the 4th. 1 plus 3 will give us the 4. Notice that the denominator has gone untouched. It just comes along for the ride. At this stage, we can use the quotient rule and simple uh, simplification or reduction of fractions for the numbers. 30 divided by 2 will give us 15 a to the 7th divided by a to the 4th, we can use or invoke the quotient rule here. The bases are same. We're dividing, so we do top power minus the bottom power. We take the difference of the powers. So 7 minus 4 gives us 3. b to the 4th over b squared, again the quotient rule applies. The bases are same and we're dividing, so 4 minus the 2 gives us 2. The question had asked us to write our answer with positive exponents. All of these exponents are positive, so that's the end of the problem.